Hi Lana, this is Thomas. I just wanted to make a, a quick video here to show you um, exactly how we want the ask and answer and reviews section to be for the website. Um, that way there's you know there's no confusion or, or you know um, questions about it. Um, okay, on the uh, ask and answers part, when you click on that tab here, uh, we want to basically we actually well, not basically we want it to be just um, exactly like how it is on Falaka here, and I'll I'm also when I email you this um, video, I'll email you the links um, starting from the first one on the first page on and each how you know everything. Um, so the first one will be the ask and answers, showing the um, on here. So we want it to be um, sort by, which on ours you have the sort by on here also, which is great. Um, so that's fine. Um, but ideally, I mean, if we just make it, if you, or I'm sorry, I'm go to the right page. If uh, we can just copy it, I mean, I'm not sure if you're able to copy the the code or, or the look or layout or, or to make it exactly like this, um, from like where this you know this gray line is here, on down. Um, but we want, we really just want it to be identical in every single way to this. I mean, um, even how it has like the, the large and small, the large quotation marks around uh, what somebody at what their question was. And uh, showing that you know the, how many shoppers thought this post was helpful. Um, obviously, the thumbs up, thumbs down. You have that on ours too. But um, and then also at the end of each one of them has a reply to this post. And then they all have a report this button and a link to this post that pops up like that. I mean, identically. Just to, you know, if you can just, if you can just copy this like exactly, this is exactly what we want. Like with it was zero uh, modifications, just identically to this. Um, and also where it has a, the person's name who wrote something with, and they can put in, they put wrote Earth there, but they can wrote right in where they're from too if they want to. Um, and even the same thing with when people reply, um, they'll have their name and uh, um, where they're from if they actually wrote that in there. Um, and, then, and then underneath any of the uh, the ask and answers questions, we want to have this where it says. This is the exact same wording, everything. Post a message, the you know, same wording on the button, even. I, I mean, everything identical to this. Um, if they have a question or a tip to share, I mean, ad identical in every way to this button here. Um, and then when you take them to that, when you click on that page, you know, when you click on this button, where it says post a message, it'll take you to uh, this page right here. And we want it to be exactly like this too, with, with the from the dotted line down, um, with the same wording everywhere, exactly how it is, and um, the same thing on here, what this says on the right hand side, like what should I write, best tips, all this information, and good questions, fine print, everything, um, everything identical in every word. I mean, even you know, the, even the you know, the wording, just you know, you can copy and paste this. It's exactly what we want to say, and um, same thing with this form. I want the form to be identical in every way also, even with the last name where it says optional, I mean everything. It shows the privacy policy link right here, um, the guidelines link right here. Um, you know, have your tips and questions for the pipe. Um, have the taggets uh, part here. and ev Everything can be identically to this. I mean nothing needs to change. Um, and post your tip or question. I agree to the um, well, what the name it legalese, but anyways, um, I agree to the policies that you can say policies instead, and then um, uh, and post this message, and you can also even have that same wording on the button, post this message, but instead it can be a pink button instead of orange or whatever. Um, but from from here, from this line here, on up to here, I want it to be identical to this page, and I'll send you, I'll send you a link to this page too. And now if they if they were to click on reply to this post, then it's going to show um, like this. It'll say it'll show the person who wrote the original post and where they said they're from, if they wrote that information, and what their question was right here, and then then you can put in your information here again, which is on this part is identically the same underneath except for it shows the question that you're answering that was asked um, and who wrote it, and then over here is actually a little different. Um, this one says uh, writing good posts, and then the fine print is the same as the part.
but you can see on this part it says when you're doing a reply you should save this part on the right hand side which I'll give you this link uh, where it says writing good posts and if you're writing the um, just a um, an ask and answers button on the, at the very bottom it's going to have a different right on the right hand side Oh, here we go. Um, like this one, because this one says good questions, and then the questions underneath it, um, and the best tips. So, the, you know, the, what this says on the right hand side is different from if you're just writing your uh, an original uh, question to be asked or tip, um, and then if you're replying to the question, then it says that it says this differently on the information here. Okay, now, so that's it for the um, um, ask and answers part. Now for the reviews part, uh, we want to be again identical to this exactly how it is. Also, also for the ask and answers too, it should show the button. It should show how many are under, are there. Like this one has 206, and then it's over 4,000. Um, we want that to show also on ours, on our buttons over here um, after the reviews and the ask and answers. And we want this part to be identical to this too in every way. Like with the views, it shows the overall star bait uh, stars um, that it's been given by all the people that left a review, and it shows how many reviews there, there were based on how many reviews. Um, it has an option where they can click on photo and video only, so it just shows that so they can find that. They just want to see that only, so they don't have to just read through a bunch of worrying. They can look at some videos if they want or photos. And same thing for the, um, the check boxes here for the um, all the tags that people selected in the in the leading reviews. Um, also, same you know, same have the sort by date, helpfulness, rating link to this post and also showing the dates when it was posted and then here's the person's name and then uh, here's obviously the, the tags they clicked in, they clicked on when they left the review and then the same thing with the quotation marks around what they wrote and then it shows how many people how shoppers saw reviews helpful report this button here um, and then if it goes down to a person who left a, a video it has the wording here and then their video and same thing, and then if you have the one someone left photos, it'll look like this. With the photos, and so this one again, I, you know, showing what they selected here. Um, so from there to there, identically again. Um, from this lineup, I, we want it to be exactly how this how Falk is, and same thing on the bottom here. If you want to write your own review on that product, um, and then they click the same button, everything, write a review, and then when you click on that, <coughs> I'll do the same thing on here, what makes a good review, on the right hand side, all this information on the right side, and then we want from the dotted line again, down here, below, with every button and every form and everything, the exact same size, everything, identical, the layout, Ratings that you give it, same thing if you scroll over, it does that. Um, the title, here's the cheat sheet and guidelines for your reviews. Same, have that same button. Um, and then exactly like this for the photos and videos, where it shows just review this time, review and photos, you can do before and after picture. And then it also tells you, you know, great photos, like exactly how this is too. We want this, where it gives them. It's so basically telling them what to do, how to do it the, right, the best way. And same thing here. And great videos gives them information. And then here's the tags. You can give it. And then agree and then submit your review. Identical to this in every single way. From here all the way up and this on the side. From the, the dotted line. Um, so that's exactly how we want the the reviews and the uh, ask and answers to be with, with zero variances, just identical to this. And um, 
the other thing that we want to is on the overview <coughs> we want to have the uh, <coughs> you see on here you have it where it's um, <coughs> excuse me the most helpful review and tips and advice which is great that's what we want but um, because you put some ask and answers in there already, <coughs> excuse me, in the reviews, but it's not automatically showing up over here. So we, we want that to be something that's automatic also. Get back to it. <coughs> Where it shows the most recent, uh, well, on here, I'm sorry, it shows the most helpful review, the one that had the most um, thumbs up right here, you know, for the out of all the reviews. And we do the same thing here, even with the option to put more thumbs up or down. Um, shows the date who is who posted it and when they posted it. I'm gonna click on read more to see more of that review. You can report it if they want. Post your review or read all reviews on this product. And the tips and advice. This one, this one's we want the um, the most recent that automatically fills in there. So the most recent reviews. Make sure like who did it, where they're from, posted three days ago. Same thing. All this re reply to this post. And it shows like I guess the first, the last, the last two. Um, post your tip, more tips, all this. We want, just, we want it to be identical to this, and this you know should automatically fill in from the last two uh, tips and advice that people left in there. And then another review just how it shows the most a lot, the most helpful one that had the most votes, the most thumbs up for the post really helpful. Um, so. And also, uh, for the overview, we want the ability to do it just like this too. Before and after photos, and the videos, and of course, then the also information about the product. And that's it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.